Hi, my name is Diane Vickis. I am a C6 quadriplegic, which means um, I broke my neck and can't feel from my can't feel or move from my chest down. So my plan is that we're going to get this lift and we're going to go down to Canton, Massachusetts um, and go to my paralysis, paralysis gym of Journey Forward. Um, I actually like, I really miss grocery shopping, but now I just do Instacart, which is very convenient, and Grubhub and DoorDash. But I do miss like, I don't know, going grocery shopping or like, just going to the mall or like doing my own errands, like picking up like, I don't know, sending mail or a package or like stupid things like that. But I don't do those things on my own because I, I'm scared I'm gonna like get stuck somewhere or um, need help and like end up being helpless. Like, and that's another thing, it's like sometimes like going out I would be fine like in the grocery store but having people like stare at me because I'm struggling like getting something off the shelf it's, it's just like I don't know and some people are just trying to be nice and they're like can I help you with that and I'm just like no I want to do it by myself and I don't want any help but I understand you're just trying to be nice but like I got it so I was just had finished a shift. Um, I think I was, it was a Sunday night. Uh, so I was, I worked, I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I was off Monday. So I was like, finally, I have like a break. Um, and I remember going home, taking this long, long shower, sat on my couch, uh, looked out the window, saw the sunset. I was like, I need a better view of this. And I went up to the rooftop um, and was just watching the sunset um, by myself, just enjoying the fresh air, summer air. And then when I came down, I just slipped on the first step and fell off the ladder um, 12 feet. Uh, so it wasn't a huge fall, um, but I fell right on my back um, and I snapped my neck at the uh, C6 level. So, well, this is the hospital I did two months of inpatient rehab at. And then um, I moved across the street to this building over there. And I was discharged um, in October. So it was still like this fall weather, but I would come out here and um, roll around the boardwalk and just like kind of think sometimes, you know, I could just roll myself right in and that would be it. I mean, I would, it's not like sink or swim. I know I would sink. So um, those thoughts definitely crossed my mind, um, like right when I got out and it was just a very lonely, hard, hard time. Um, but we got through those and now I'm like, maybe, I, maybe I'd swim, you never know. <laughs> um, there's our ride over here. Sorry to make you wait. No problem, no, no problem at all. Alright, ready? Go. One, two, three. We good? Yep. Hello. Hello, spasm. I actually like that spasm because that spasm puts you right where you need to be. Oh. Look how straight you are right now. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you completely fired up. Hmm. All right. See well, what I mean? Yeah, we'll take it. She's like, okay. All right. So hips are straight. Yep. I like the All hips. Right. How do you feel? I'm a little feel like. Oh, come on, die! You just went right back to the no-no spot. I did. I don't know why. <laughs> now bring your shoulders. You know, make your adjustment. There you go. Good. This is Jude. This is another one of our specialized trainers. Um, and we're gonna go on the local map. He's gonna get me all set up with this um, harness and basically then it'll just like suspend me in the air. They'll strap on the, the robot, bring me down, put weight through my legs. And um, yeah, it's just nice to like stand tall again, you know? And like I do a lot of standing, but this is like, I don't, 
don't know, it just feels different. And like to have your legs moving while you're doing it, it's, it's hard to explain. But like here, I have to like pay a lot of attention and sometimes I like trip up without even realizing it. Um, so it's actually harder than, if I'm, I'm, if I'm doing it correctly, it's hard and takes a lot of focus. But sometimes it's just nice to relax and let the machine do the work. <laughs> Re-excited my nervous system for three hours is kind of like enough. Like I know that that's going to give me like gains later on in the week because it's going to get me stronger and I'm putting weight through my legs. I know that that is going to help like reduce foot drop and like I kind of put a reason to everything maybe like and like when I'm working out my upper body I'm like okay well these are going to help my transfers later in the week I'm going to be able to transfer into bed easier it's not going to be as hard I'm not going to be as exhausted okay so maybe I can now like start practicing taking off my own pants or putting on my own pants because I know like I just worked out at journey forward so I know I'm stronger so it's like you're like convincing yourself but it actually like does work <laughs> because I am stronger and everything in life now is easier and that's a result of like working hard in the gym yeah so when I was in the hospital I tried sitting at the edge of the bed and I could only sit there for like literally I remember like 30 seconds without having to pass out like at the edge of the bed and I still had like someone supporting my um, upper body so I wouldn't fall over and now I'm able to like stand and lock one knee and um you know be up there for i could stand for like an hour sometimes without um, feeling like i'm gonna pass out or do pass out so the gains and the progress is very incremental but it's there and i have to like remind myself and look back and be like okay i wish i could walk and i wish i could stand on my own or not pass out but a year ago I couldn't even sit at the edge of the bed so like just be I guess thankful for what you have have recovered I feel like I'm at a spot right now where I'm like okay I can start like living my life again like I, th I think I have things figured out like I think I you know, I can get around this world. I know who to ask for help. Like, I'm never gonna be able to return the favor or say thank you enough to the people that supported me and like how much they helped me. Like, whether that be like, you know, money or just a, a text or a letter or, you know, everything that others have done, I wanna like, I'm never gonna be able to repay them. So how am I gonna like give back or like pay it forward at least? Um, and this is this is one of my ways to do that as well. So thank you guys as well.